This is Ozarks Fox AM. Welcome back to the second hour of Ozarks Fox AM. I'm Kelly Smith. And I'm Jeremy Rape. Thanks for tuning in on this Wednesday. Yes, Wednesday, hump day. Yes. Here we go. On the downhill slope. On the downhill slope. That's exactly right. So Easter is this weekend. Mm -hmm. um, I've got family coming in on Friday. Uh -huh, nice. Yes, we're going to go to Silver Dollar City. And, you know, we saw Dan Dunn yes. yesterday, that beautiful painting. He's going to be down there. They're having a festival. I can't wait for it. It's going to be fantastic. And the weather, it's going to be a little cool, but... Breezy, 61 if I remember right. Lisa might be, at least might be proud of me for remembering. <laughs> on Friday, yes. yes, on Friday. Okay, so not bad. There you go. What about you? You gonna yeah. work in the yard? Oh my gosh, I plan to work in the yard until I collapse. Yes. Because I just, I love it so much. Yeah. It's, it's a good exhaustion. Well, what's happening this weekend? What are you planting this weekend? Well, I'm going to actually start the pond this weekend. Because last time I couldn't because the weather wasn't exactly right, and I ended up. I ended up mulching uh -huh. the entire yard the weekend I planned to dig the pond the last time. Okay. So everything is mulched properly, mm -hmm. and it looks great. I forgot you were putting a pond in. So now I'm putting a pond by the gazebo. Oh, right. Now, okay. I'm not saying a pond as in I'm going to go take a boat on the pond. This is a very I know. small pond yeah. so I can do all my water flowers that I love. Like Are you water lilies. Are fish or anything in there? I don't think so, but I love water plants and water lilies. And the sound and of the water. The sound. I At my previous house, mm -hmm. I built it from scratch where... I got some rocks from the Ozarks and I built a little waterfall. So the waterfall trickles <gasps> into the pond. Oh. So you hear the sound and then you plant all the amazing water plants. And it's just, it's soothing, it's peaceful. Oh. So when I'm at the gazebo and you hear that water. It's nice. Hey, do you, if you, you're going to use some flat rocks? Yes, I am. Okay, if you need some, mm -hmm. let me know. Oh, I was going to buy some. I know. I, I might be able to save you some money. Oh. Because we've got tons of flat rock, and I'm getting ready to get the front side of our our. Uh, if you don't want done. them, I want them. Okay. I'm not kidding you. No, I'm Because I've, I've been pricing rocks because the last time I went down to a friend's property mm -hmm. in Forsyth, Missouri, yeah. and loaded up my car. Yeah. Well, I can't so, do it this no, time. No, because I'm going to have some things redone, and I'm going to get rid of the rocks that I have. If you don't mind so, loading up your car or something, or maybe uh, I can come with my car yeah, and load it up. Yeah, that'd be good. We'll get that worked out. But the front of uh, our house is going to get redone, and there's a bunch of those flat rocks, so those are going to go. So you're getting rid of the rocks in the front. I remember those rocks, I think. Yeah, like, you know, just right there in the very front. Uh -huh. And some of them need to be broken up, though some of those do, because they've got concrete on them. Yes. That, that should be fine. I'm going to do a mixture. The last pond I did, I did Hyper Tuffa, uh -huh. which was on the bottom. I think this time I'm just going to do a liner and then use concrete with the rocks around the, okay. the top. But I think that well, would can, work out perfectly. And I've got some in the front that are no concrete on them. So you're welcome to take what you want. I All right. It. All righty then. Let's check out the weather. Elisa, good morning. Good morning. Uh, we are starting out with some clouds and very warm temperatures this morning. It's 64 degrees and very steady south and southeast winds sustained at 14 miles per hour. That dew point is increasing, starting to get into the 50s and will continue to increase through the day today. 66 in Joplin right now. It's 65 degrees in Bentonville and 61 in Branson. Again, that dew point is increasing. It's getting closer and closer to that 60 degree mark, and that's when things start to feel a little bit sticky. Here's that muggy meter where we've been comfortable with dew points in the 50s and even even drier than that. Uh, but once we get to that 60 degree mark, things start to get sticky and that is going to be crucial in the uh, event for some strong and severe storms on the overnight tonight. Uh, so by dismissal today, we're looking at a temperature of 79 degrees, still dry, mostly cloudy, breezy and warm. Cardinals have a day game today at 1110. They're playing the Tulsa Drillers 70 for first pitch uh, with mostly cloudy sky 79 by the seventh inning. I think still warm, just cloudy. Here is that severe threat for tonight. Everyone is included in this slight risk for severe weather, meaning that some of these storms will be strong to severe. Large hail, damaging winds, and localized flooding will be the main threats. But I cannot rule out an isolated tornado, especially uh, in the north and west corner of our viewing area here to the north and west of Springfield. So hour by hour, we're looking at clouds and 70s through the day today. Here comes that line of storms by 10 o'clock tonight. It's up to the north and west, pushing towards Springfield by midnight. This line, if it organizes into a line like this, that's where we'll have a push of damaging straight line winds. An isolated tornado can be embedded in here, and we'll have some of that uh, locally heavy rain and 
lightning. The storms push south and east by about 6, 7 o'clock in the morning. Maybe some sprinkles linger for the morning commute and then some cooler 50s through the day tomorrow. So again, not much happening until the overnight. This is a, a midnight to 6 a.m. threat uh, for large hail, damaging winds, isolated tornadoes possible, and uh, locally heavy rain could cause some flooding issues. Looking ahead to Easter, which is on Sunday, it's going to be excellent, mostly sunny, breezy and warm with a temperature of 78 degrees. So again, remember with that overnight threat tonight, just make sure you download that Color 10 weather app so you can stay weather aware even while you are sleeping. Jeremy Kelly. Oh, I was going to have you call me. We don't get sirens out where I am. <laughs> <laughs> Alisa, I have I have a note for you from one of our viewers. Oh, I sure. just got it okay, from sure. Barbara uh, Kempen. Barbara Kempen just wrote to us and said, please tell Elisa Rafa how much I appreciate her expert weather information. Mm -hmm. I can tell this is her passion and she loves sharing her knowledge of weather and it's important. She is a bright spot in my morning. Oh, thank you. That's nice. so sweet. Isn't I really nice? just doing my job, right? If I can help you plan your day, if I can help you stay safe tonight when we've got that hazardous weather, I did what I was supposed to do for the day. So thank you. Right. Well, Barbara <laughs> appreciates you yes, and we all do, you. Lisa. Yes, I you. love getting the viewer response like that and just know that, you know, what we're doing, what you're doing, especially with weather is really important to a lot of people in the it Ozarks. Is. It is. Thank in you. real time. It's important to me yeah. too. Very good. <laughs> I'm getting a little teary-eyed, Lisa. <laughs> I love it. Thanks, okay. Lisa. <laughs> all right, coming up, we're talking rocking ribs. It's coming up. Yeah. We'll be right back. <laughs> Thanks, Barbara, for yeah, watching. We love awesome. you. She's nice. Very cool, yes. She's I don't. So nice. There's no siren.